Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of Toy Fair 2015, your official Toy Fair coverage with the Toy Industry Association on Be Terrific at the Jacob K. Javits Center in New York City. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for joining us. You can join us in real time on our IRC chat. Go to BeTerrific.com slash live underneath the live video player. There is an IRC chat. It's free to join. It's easy to join. You can create an anonymous login or create one so we know who you are when you come back and we can talk about you regularly on air. We can ask your questions in real time. We're checking it constantly. Also, you can hit us up on Twitter, at TV. Don't forget about that. Of course, Instagram as well. And I want to tell you, we check in with the IRC chat 24 hours a day, so from time to time when we're not on air. So if you want to find out what's going on or ask us questions throughout the day, you can do that. Um, don't forget that you can email us. It's connect at BeTerrific.com as well. And of course, you can also call us up, 201-735-7711. I'm Michael Artsis, so excited about our next guest. Thank you so much for joining us. You guys have yeah, a really interesting new product and a new way to teach kids sports fun, not only outdoors, but also indoors as well. Yeah, definitely. So the product that we have is called a grip cone. It's kind of interesting how it all came, came about. Um, it kind of came about with me and my wife. She uh, played collegiate soccer, was a really good soccer player. And um, <laughs> one day she was co she's coaching a club soccer team and she got sick of all the cones always tipping over and she always had to reset them and reset them and reset them. It's and annoying. Oh, it's annoying. It's awful. I, I, play, I played hockey growing up. I Did played a uh, little soccer, some football, yeah. a lot of baseball, and setting up the cones over and over again was terrible <laughs> in all those sports. Yeah, it's definitely a pain, not even for just the coaches, but for the players, mm -hmm. you know, and Everybody here has been talking about, oh, I'm, that's total, that's a big pain that I've had that I've never been able to really solve, you know. But, yeah, so my wife said, let's start doing something about it. So we both started innovating and started thinking, what can we do, what can we do? And we started, you know, thinking about, hey, where are we going to go with this and everything like that. And we found a play to do a prototype and everything like that. And found some people to help us out with manufacturing. So you've got these, these are, instead of uh, being cones, they're kind of stakes. You stake them in the yeah. ground. So and uh, and then uh -huh. you've got uh, your cone. Yeah, so to yeah speak. definitely. So there's two different. Co this is just the grip cone, and the other one's a little bit more durable, called the Grip okay. Cone Pro. And basically, that's what it does. You know, the cones flip over, but with that stake, I mean, it sticks in the ground, and <laughs> you don't have to worry about resetting cones now, all the time. Now they light up as well, right? You have LED uh -huh. uh, yeah, aspects to them. We are coming out with those right now. We've been innovating on those, and those are coming out. And in that's the next part of the training process. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of people use them for frisbee mm -hmm. as well. You know, people play thir frisbee at night, and they like with the this LED part? lights. Yeah, they put <laughs> <laughs> not with that though. We're not going to play frisbee okay. with that. And so, so you you put these in the ground. And what uh -huh. of your indoors? You can flip them over. Um, right now as well, we're coming out with indoor ones. We're working on hardwood surfaces and turf ones as well. Okay. So right now these are just grass. Just based. grass. And uh -huh. do you worry about putting holes in the grass? No, no, we don't. We. Uh -huh, what sorry. do you do for? Uh, you don't. Why? Wait. Why? So when we put them in the grass, because yeah. that's also a problem that said like, oh, is it like aerating our grass as well? You know, sure. they don't want that to happen. But we've been able to innovate, see how long we need the stake. And when it actually goes in, it does not leave a big hole or anything like that. So, so. a lot of these uh, schools, uh, maintenance-wise, and a lot of these places are putting in real grass right now, which mm -hmm. is uh, an AstroTurf kind of thing. It's a, it's a turf. It's yeah. not a, it's, uh -huh. it's called real grass, but it's not real grass. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, what do you do for those solutions? So right now, um, we actually included it in our patent. So right now, you can just see the stake on it, yep. that middle stake. So what we're going to do is, if you don't mind if I pull this, we're going to kind of do a little almost like little stakes like that okay. all the way around. So it kind of grabs the artificial turf. If Very that makes nice. Sense. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, we're coming with that. And then Very cool stuff. How much are those? So these ones are the Grip Cone Pros. They come in a pack of four, mm -hmm. and these come in a pack of five. Okay. And they are nine ninety nine. Wow. So they cost Very reasonable. For four or for five. Uh -huh. I, I feel like that's even cheaper than cones that fall over every second. Yeah, definitely. Now, you guys have a ball as well. Tell me about uh -huh. this ball. Yeah, so Can we this break it out of there? Um, this no? one, no, we have another one, okay. but this one is kind of in there right now. All right. So this is something we're just barely coming out with. Okay. Um, it's called the Fousey Ball. Right. So basically what it does, it's, you know, the wiffle balls that they use for baseball and things like that. Yeah. So we're trying to do that for soccer. Kind of a little bit lighter ball, ball that can have some different curves and things like that on it. So it's another thing we're coming out with. 
That's really, really cool. Maybe um, in, the, in the meantime, Adam can run over to your booth and grab the ball um, while we talk about some other yeah, things. Definitely. You're a startup, what, what was that like? And, and, and how did this come about uh, as far as, okay, you have the idea, mm -hmm. um, and now you have to get to making it. It's not just, yeah, definitely. Uh, hey honey, uh, that's a great idea, like, let's, yeah, let's do just it. make it. <laughs> how do you do it? So basically, how it came about, after we had that prototype, we got lined up, um, it was kind of fell in place for us, we got lined up with some people that do manufacturing out of China and things like that, and they've ha had other companies. And they were the ones that really helped us get that manufacturing started, get the, you know, pull the website together, everything like that, so we've had help. And, and so in, in, the, in the rest of the world, it's called football. Here yeah. it's called soccer, but soccer. it can really be used for all sorts of different yeah, things. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. and I say that because Paul Dixon is watching and he's saying, soccer, what's soccer? So I have to tell him soccer is football. Football. Oh yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and of course, um, you know, this has been a long journey for you. Did you, miss, did you miss sleeping any nights? I mean, was, what were the hard parts? Because um, you make it seem like it was easy. I, we just hooked up with somebody from China. <laughs> no, we, no. we had the idea I mean, and then we kind of <laughs> drew it out and there it was. It's, it's definitely not that easy. You know, yeah. you don't just throw it together and then it's like, oh yeah, it's just working out. I mean, a lot of difficult parts are connecting with buyers or is a very difficult part of the, you know, the process is trying to find the buyers, the right buyers to actually like the product. Yeah. Um, yeah, within a, a few weeks, we tried to come up with a video and all those kind of things. And it definitely was some long days, <laughs> some long, long days, but it paid off, so. Very, very nice. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. And. And this, this is, is so this is the ball out of the thing, or yeah, this is the definitely. prototype ball. This is I the guess. prototype yeah, ball. Yeah, and that's then now, out. and then that's the real one. Yeah. So when no, these when are is also that? these are oh both those are prototypes. prototypes as well. Yeah. When's that coming out? So we're thinking in the next few months we'll have it ready. Uh -huh. um, we're going to start doing vibrant colors on it, a little brighter. You Very know, nice. So. How important is Toy Fair to your success? It seems like it's been an amazing show for you. I, you guys aren't that far from us. I see uh -huh. uh, every time I walk by to go to the men's room, uh, you guys are, are packed. Yeah, definitely. So we've it's been a big success here, not only with just sporting good places, but also toy places and stuff like that. I mean, we've been able to get some really good relationships here talking with people. I like how you've reinvented. You've kind of reinvented. Are you going to start doing things like putting sensors in? I love the 9450 basketball. I love okay. what they're doing. They said that they, uh, are you familiar with the ball? Um, not the 9450. So no. the 9450 has got all these sensors in it. It can tell me the arc of my shot, how oh, fast yes, I, I dribble, like that. all this stuff. It coaches in real time. I think adding that technology to this ball would be amazing, especially because uh, uh, as a soccer player, and they want to license their technology out. They don't want to make soccer balls. They don't want to make footballs. They don't yeah. want to make this. They just want to make basketballs. License. Is that something you would go into? Um, it's definitely something. We're always open for new innovations and different things that we can license and stuff like that. So it's possibly something that we could definitely look into. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be that would be phenomenal. I think it would be cool. What uh -huh. do you see the future? Uh, you got the LED lights. I think that's super mm -hmm. cool. Um, what do you see the future in? Are you going to go into other sports? Uh, other, I mean, obviously, uh -huh. these work for every sport yeah, pretty much, as long as there's grass. Yeah, and, definitely. And hardwood, I guess, soon. Yeah, definitely. Those are going to be coming out soon. And what are you going to do for ice, for hockey? You're going to make the, 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 the same as the, uh, the turf ones, basically, and use them for ice? So we have talked to a lot of Canadians about that. You know, the Canadians are big yeah. on hockey. And so what we're trying to do is It's not just Canada. Jenny in yeah. Finland, uh, he's De big into the hockey, definitely. too. Me, and, and me in the United States. Are you a big hockey player? You Estados Unidos, yeah. yes. Estados <laughs> Unidos. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. I, I'm, I'm big into hockey, yes. Okay. I love hockey. Yeah, definitely. So... What we're trying to work with hockey is kind of what we're going to do with hardwood surfaces, and, but we're going to have to innovate and do a little bit different. Well, what about the spikes you're going to put in the uh, ones for the turf? You could put those in the uh, in, in the, the ice as well. Yeah, definitely yeah, as well. Yeah. See, so we're innovating on a lot of things right now, how we're going to make it work. Oh, this would be so work. good for puck drills because when you hit it, yeah. you, you hit the cone, you, I mean, it's just not sliding down the ice all the way. I know, definitely, and we've heard that so many times that, hey, when we're playing hockey, we got to the get the, In the hockey rink, it's about to happen. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. uh, so you really you could go across all sports. And are uh -huh. you looking at like could you make a puck that I could juggle with my stick or something? Or are you working on that? Or what about for football? You're working on other balls, or is it just let's just do football, soccer, um, and uh, and let's work on th and these little things that uh, replace cones. Yeah, definitely. We're trying to build a whole brand out of it, not yeah. just the cones. So what you're saying about a football? Yeah, we have the soccer ball right now. Yeah. Maybe come out with the football soon. We're trying to make it to where we can put flags in these. A bunch of different things. So we want to actually build the brand. You know, what about golfing? Yeah, definitely. Golf like we, as well. we could set up a golf course in here with those, and and these could be the holes. And uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Indoor golf. Yeah. The, I mean, the the possibilities are limitless with this. You can do it. And putting. A bunch we of could practice things. putting with these. Hey, and I'm and I love golf. So yeah, yeah that's definitely. Th I think you're thing. right. The possibilities are limitless. Yeah, because you can use this for. We've had people that are magicians come and say they want this for their wow. audience. So. 
Wow. I mean, there's a lot of different things people want these for. Uh, awesome, awesome. Maybe Adam can reset the slot car track while we're talking here real quick because I, I, they want to see us race. They want to see you and I race. race. That's what they're saying. Paul Dixon says he wants to see the slot car go, and, and, and he wants to know, okay. um, you know, uh, is it out today? So it is out okay. today because he just tuned in. And Sounds I'll good. tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the um, – the dark car, you're going to be the white car. Okay, I heard and you're competitive too. So. I'm very competitive, so <laughs> you're not going to beat me. You know that, right? I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see? You yeah. think you can win? We'll see. I've never done it. Okay, so on three, we're going to go. Okay. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> well, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> Did uh, it? The crew is laughing, so we're going to start this again. Let's see if okay. we can get... Uh, Yes, we have different cars today. We've got two Camaros right now. We've okay. got the new modern uh, Camaro and, of course, a 1970 awesome. Camaro. Oh, uh, so now I'm driving, which I like, the 1970 Camaro. Okay. Um, that's the number five car in white. And you've got the dark Samsung car, which okay. is the number 23 Michael Jordan. I like that. Yeah. I'm a Michael Jordan fan. So you are a yeah, Michael definitely. Jordan fan. All right, here we go. There we go. Oh, I just died on the vine. Yep. Victory. I didn't have the Dukes of Hazard car there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Digital <laughs> Phil's going to be so disappointed in me. He's, he was so happy that I've been winning. Yeah. He's so proud of me. He writes me these nice notes, <laughs> long, long notes, about how great I am at this slot car, and he's so impressed by it. Maybe he'll write me a note now. He is going to have to write you a note. <laughs> so it's Grip Sport. Grip Sports. Is Grip, the Sports. Yep. Grip Sports. Gripsports.com. Uh, gripsportsgear.com. Gripsportsgear.com. Uh -huh. Gripsportsgear.com. We got to say it again because you beat me. Gripsportsgear.com. Yeah, gripsports gear. And so people can go there and buy that stuff now, but they can also look out for what's coming in the future. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. They yeah. can go and buy these right now, and then the things that are coming out, we'll be having on there, posting about them and stuff. All right. Yeah. I, I bet you Digital Phil is going to go buy right now. That'd I think awesome. he's a buyer, yeah. Yeah, so definitely. So gripsports.com. Gripsportsgear.com. Gripsportsgear.com. Yeah, gear. Yeah, I got to get that. Yeah, was taken. So it was taken. Gripsportsgear.com. Well, yeah. buy it from them or something. I know. We're trying to find them. I love what you're doing. What's your last, last two things? What was the most fun thing to play with when you were a kid? What toy? The toy that I loved playing with when I was a kid, I would probably say a basketball. I loved playing downstairs basketball with my brothers. So. Really? Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Gripsportsgear.com. I'm putting it in the chat room right now. You can join the chat room by going to beterrific.com slash live, going underneath the video player and clicking on our IRC chat. Last question, advice to young entrepreneurs like yourself, whether they're toy makers or some other business, give us some advice. The advice I would give them yep. is don't think that you can't do it. And that also, yeah. older people want to help you. So a bunch of older people are going to help you succeed as an entrepreneur. So always just work hard, and the people will come that. I, I like that. You. And and don't be afraid of doing things like this, even though they cost money to be here. No. They really help, right? It's going to cost money to start something. You just have to know that. But when it starts going, the money starts coming. And, and so, so doing something like Toy Fair is... It's, no, Toy Fair is awesome. I totally recommend it to people that are doing toys or other sporting stuff. It has been great for us. So. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank I you. can't wait to get some of this stuff and to play with it. That soccer ball... I'm not even the biggest soccer guy, and I want to play with it. Yeah, I can't wait for anything. I can't so. wait till we can get them on the ice for the <laughs> ice cones and all that stuff. Yeah, I love perfect. it. Ice cones. You could just ice call cones. it ice cones. Let's call it ice cones. Ice cones. You. I love yeah, it. That can be from you. All right. <laughs> we'll be back with a whole lot more on your live continuing official coverage of Toy Fair 2015 with Toy Industry Association, the Toy Industry Association, on Be Terrific from the Jacob K. Javits Center in New York City. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks for watching.